John's first fish here. Bass. Almost by accident. We were turning around after he got snagged. Was reeling it in quick. Fish hit. How's that portage, John? Not too bad, man. So falls. Oh, he's blue. Hmm? He's blue, dude. It's a blue one? Yeah. Hold him up, show me. Turn him toward me. There we go, solid walleye. Well executed, Josh. <laughs> well, shall we anchor? <laughs> I believe that was the confirmation we were. Is that the biggest? Fuck oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
we're out here just slamming bass on Saturday Bay. This is a three and a half pounder. This has been about an average size for us. This is a fatty, but we're catching a lot of fish this size. What do you think about it, John? Feels right. <laughs> Feels how it's supposed to be. Good job, little buddy. See you later. Ready to boat? Oh, yeah. oh, that's some good fight, guys. See you later. <laughs> You're having so much fun. Jesus, he's <laughs> getting me wet. These fish are not coming in Look at that. Look at that. Alright, bud, here we go. Yeah, I know you're tired. Let's go. Wow, that was treble hooked to the thumb. John's got a fucking Neanderthal on. Okay, big fella. We got two fish like you. <laughs> Dude, this, this fish is not coming in the boat. Boke of that, boke of that sucker, man. Dude. Oh, 
Another one. Oh, nice fish. Snack. <laughs> I thought, oh my god, huge pike, huge pike. <laughs> Josh. <laughs> Just the way we like them. <laughs> Here, get some bacon. Can you tell me that again, please? Well, it's a three pound minimum. So if you want to come and swim in this bay, and you're a bass, you're gonna have to hop on the scale. If you don't weigh three pounds, you probably have to go have some bacon. I was just teasing John, I'm pretty sure his, his uh, cheeks are gonna get sore from smiling so much for all these photos I'm making him take. We got a real golden walleye here, orange belly. Kind of coming back up into the channel after working Saturday Bay, the North Bay Lit. We're going to sit here and jig and have some lunch and <laughs> Icy fish in this crooked. Oh, so golden. Wow. That's a different color than we've seen for sure. We're just flipping in on our way into the channel here. That's real goldy. Nice. That's, dude, we'd, we'd eat you tomorrow, but tonight we have hot dogs. You're lucky. Thank, thank Ken's book. And then we decided we would face each other and just, just jig a little and catch fish. Dude, these guys are so lucky, but we have hot dogs. We have Ken's hot dogs tonight, man. 
That is delicious, snappy casing. Otherwise, we'd be making some tacos out of you, buddy. <laughs> All right, so John brings up three rods, which some might say is a little excessive. <laughs> but we have this dedicated slip slip bobber rod. <laughs> <laughs> so while we were busy getting hits off the other side of the boat and losing our bait to fish, John caught a fish on the bobber. Again, another one that's just lucky we're not hungry. We need to be eating these bad dogs. Oh, that would be a dude. That would. That's like. That's like. Oh, and he's and he's going to. <laughs> oh, thank God he don't go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God I don't have bait on my hook, dude. <laughs> That's a big fish. I mean, it's not bad. Oh, man. <laughs> this is not your typical sequence right now. That was like a two, that was like a cool test, man. Like, <laughs> oh shit, you got a lure there. Oh man. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> you still, you still, still filming. Oh God. John, I'm gonna want your thoughts on all this action. <laughs> Tell me, what do you think? I would say, Canoe country's pretty sweet. See you later, little buddy. Big fucking hit. So we just switched spots. Walleye. And, um... Oh my God, that's a walleye. We're just like, okay, we're gonna come over here really quick. And we'll start over here at this point, and then... First cast. Let's see what he's got. Oh, huge pipe. Really, a big oh, pike. Wow. A really big pike? Yeah. That's a bigger pike, dude. <laughs> 30 incher. He's gonna bite me on. Yeah. yeah. You got him in the front of the mouth. He's got the lure like wedged in his knee. Perfect. Oof. Is it a crocodile? Stack with teeth, huh? Yeah, he's gonna bite me in. Fuck. <laughs> he hit that thing, it was like. <sighs> Almost got it. That was at least a 30 inch fish. Yeah, it was pretty big. It was heavy. It had a big. Big head on Dude, the head of that thing was the size of my hand. You want to uh, tie on some sugi yang? Okay. <laughs> you want to tie on some sugi yang? <laughs> Low frustration, effective, simple. <laughs> John's on a big bass. I'm on a big walleye. Uh oh, <laughs> I think I got that on tape, dude. Oh my god. Oh god, I gotta tighten my drag. Uh oh. Oh jeez. 
You gotta, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> we both got things to do here. Perfect time for my players to fall. Go figure. Wow, Josh, that is quite the walleye. Holy cow. Five plus. Five plus pound. I don't think I'm going to have the guts to hold this thing up. Pick yet. it up, pick it up. I want to show the camera. Five pounder. Yeah, that's a twenty-two inch fish. Is that it? Just a wicked situation he's got him. So he's literally the, the the hooks of one hook are You want bigger players? I don't know why it keeps slipping off. There it goes. I mean, it was, dude, it was so wedged that it's just not even funny. I might have bent my pliers at some point today. I don't think I'm showing him off too much. It's only like a 30 incher. It's a good pike, though. Yeah, it's definitely a good pike. Give him a sec to, yeah. Seven. Seven pounder. Seven pound. Pike. Can you turn it sideways? There you go. He's gonna need a little time. Plenty of these fish in this lake. The monster from the deep.
Maybe it's off the point. Yeah, close to it. I can't make my car move over. It's right on the point. No, it's just on the other side of this guy. <laughs> We're on Crab Claw, Crooked Lake. I taught Janet John how to play cribbit or a gin. <laughs> Frying up some summer sausage for some deluxe mac and cheese. This site's pretty baller. Take you out to the point. <sighs> yeah, this site's pretty cool. It's weird, it's like there's so many that are the, this is like a four star like the rest of them, but I don't know, this is really cool. There's been no bugs, We've had our shirts off all day, just soaking in the sun, chillaxing, feeling good. We saw two boats all day, we've actually only seen two boats since we got to Crooked Lake two days ago, or a day ago, yesterday. Had walleye dinner last night, hunted them down with the techniques that we've learned that we Got on Saturday Bay. Pretty cool. Just leaving the crab claw okay. on our way to Big Current. Big Current is just behind that point, facing due east right now. Right, Big Current, here we come. Now, all of Crooked Lake runs through this narrow section passes through the big current up here. We're here at one of the Circle W spots. Nice current coming through Crooked. And uh, just had a five and a half pound pike here. We've been having a bunch of these little 12, 14 inch walleyes. John got bit off by a big pike. This is just a real fishy spot. We're right here. Oh no, actually we passed that one. No, we are. Yeah, we're on that one. Man, we got a long ways to go. We're going down here today and we're apparently just going to be busy fishing. 
what is that, John? Like five in a row? With like maybe six, maybe what? Two big pikes. We got two big pikes in here. Or one pike. We got a pike follow up to the boat. We got a big five and a quarter. Show that one to us, John, so we can see what it looks like when you're done with it. I mean, we've caught, what, seven of those? Active little spot. Jumping! Another five pound pike. Oh, that's oh. bigger. Jeez. The pike master. I put on the bucktail and uh, a little bigger meal. Yeah. Is that another 30 incher? This boga tool is just amazing. So that last one might have been like a six or seven, huh? Probably another seven-ish. <laughs> well, we really are trying to get to our campsite. Meaning we better get going? No, I'm just talking to them, just explaining to the camera that... <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a good, that's, dude, that, what do you think about... Dinner time? Yeah. That looked like, that looks like a size that might be worthwhile. Ah, oh, we're doing ramen, hey? Okay. Yeah, it's a good size. Well, now I know why people bring leeches. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this would have been the year. We have always come, you know, a week early. This would have been the year. Yeah, yeah, let's. Let's let's go see what the next one's all about and the next one. paddle a little bit, take a break from hooking all these fish. My arm's tired, dude. All this my yeah. <laughs> my uh, my hooking on my hooking hand is tarred. Oh.
the anvil sight on crooked. The bugs are out. There's John working the Lindy rig. Okay. We just uh, we're just going through a little current right now, and John has a five of diamonds tied on. Nice big daredevil spoon. And this pike took a run that just snapped his rod. He's got 20 pound braid and a steel leader. And he's got maybe a close to 40 inch, or we'll see when it gets closer. Snapped his St. Croix like a bean. Oh, that's, yeah, that looks like a big fish there. Yeah, that looks like a pretty good area to get stable. This pike is... This pike worked itself under a tree. This is really pretty back here. Where? That's a bird's nest right there. It's gotta be an eagle nest. Oh yeah, it's totally an eagle nest. Wow. There's a border marker right there on that rock. Whoa, oh yeah, these must be the pictos with all the boats. what falls. Lower Basswood Falls.